Tog. Guten Tag, I am George Friedrich Handel, and today I would like to answer some questions that some of my listeners have been asking about me. So, as you know, I am the famous Baroque era German composer. What is the Baroque era? Well, the Baroque era is a period of classical music from about 1600 to 1750 that is characterized by the frivolous use of frills, trills, and extra notes. So I am from the Baroque era and some of the listeners have asked questions. And one question is, what's your favorite piece of music? Well, I wrote so much music, including 42 operas and 29 oratorios. So it is hard to choose. Of course, I love the oratorio Messiah, which everyone loves, right? And all the wunderbar scriptures about Jesus Christ. And I flew through the composition in only 25 days as a music came to me from God. But my favorite oratorio is called Theodora. It is the story of a Christian woman, Theodora, who refuses to follow the decree of the Roman governor Antioch, who dictates that all the people should make sacrifices to a pagan god in honor of Emperor Diocletian's birthday. She and her boyfriend, Didymus, who is a Roman soldier, who has converted to Christianity, are condemned to death as Christian martyrs. It was not well received by the public, but I feel that the final chorus of Act Two, he saw the lovely youth, is even better than Hallelujah Chorus from Messiah. So another question, what's the most unusual handle piece? Well, I can't say I think that any of my music was unusual. I am not a composer from the modern era after all, but a composer of the Baroque era. I have some very famous pieces though, including Hallelujah Chorus from Messiah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right? We all know that one. And Zadok the Priest, which I wrote for the coronation of King George II. It has been played at every coronation of a British king or queen since that time. So very famous, you see. All right. Another question. What composers did you like to listen to or play? Well, that is another difficult question, as we composers can be very critical of other composers' works, and we may have a bit of an ego. I had a known rivalry with Giovanni Bonancini, the Italian composer who also lived in England, but after all, I will say he was a very good composer. Of course, early on when I studied opera in Italy, I enjoyed and was influenced by Arcangelo Corelli and Alessandro Scarlatti, and I also like the English composer Henry Purcell. Another question, are there any unusual instruments used by you handle? Well, if you are used to today's orchestras, you may not realize that we used a few different instruments in the Baroque era. So orchestras were small and made mostly of string instruments like the violin, viola, cello, and double bass. With a harpsichord, you know, like a piano, but with plucked string sound at the center. So 
you do not really play the harpsichord anymore. So that might be a little more unusual for you to hear in my compositions. And also in the orchestra were the oboe, flute, and trumpet, which you hear all the time now too. But sometimes I liked to use more unusual instruments like the viola d'amore, violetta marina, the lute, trombones, those are not so unusual now, or clarinets, but the theorbo and the French horn was new at the time, lyric chord, the double bassoon, the viola de gamba, bell chimes, positive organ, and harp. Another question, what instruments do you play? I play the harpsichord, organ, violin, and oboe. So these are some of the questions you had for me. Hopefully you will watch my other Facebook Live from this week and you can learn more about me. Or if you want to learn much more about me, I recommend the Composer Detective. I want to show you some parts of the Composer Detective, especially the unit about me called Investigating George Friedrich Handel. You know me. This will give you a little more idea of what is in the Composer Detective if you want to buy the whole course or a unit study about me or another composer. So let me show you the teacher notes from the Composer Detective. I am showing it on my screen and I will start to flip through the pages a little bit. So you can see here is the cover of the teacher notes. And we flip open to the first few pages. Just a few things inside the cover. I give you the course layout of the Composer Detective. You can see that there are two parts to the course of the Composer Detective. The first part is about orchestra, and there are two parts of that, the instruments and eras. And the second part of the Composer Detective is the composers. And the composers are divided into the four eras of orchestral music. So we have Baroque, and the composers for the Baroque era are George Friedrich Handel, me, and Johann Sebastian Bach. Then we have the classical era composers who are Mozart, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and Ludwig van Beethoven. Then we have the Romantic era, and those composers are Johannes Brahms, Antonin Dvorak, and Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. And then the modern era composers that we study in the Composer Detective are Claude Debussy and Igor Stravinsky. So that is the whole course layout. Now, of course, these are just the teacher notes for investigating George Friedrich Handel. But I give you the whole layout so you can see where you are in the learning process. So then I give you some instructions on how to listen. Questions you can ask. And then here are the lesson plans. So investigating George Friedrich Handel is meant to be a month long course. So you will find lesson plans for four weeks over several days. There are three days of lesson plans. I guess I skipped day one, but you can see week one, day two, and day three. Then you have, uh, I guess I skipped a few more pages. This is week two, day three, and then week three, day one. Skip a few more pages. Here we are on week four, days one and two, and it tells you what to read, what to watch, because of course in the course are a curated playlist of videos of great orchestras, performers, soloists, and conductors. 
And here are the exact notes on the pieces. I will see if I cannot skip so many pages. Maybe go one page so you can see the beginning of the notes. There we go. The handle playlist. So in this playlist, you will see that I give you some information, a little bit about George Friedrich Handel. And we start with short listening pieces because if you are younger and a newer listener, you will only have the attention span for short pieces. So I start with these short listening pieces for you. And this may have skipped some pages, but you can see I take some time to give you the exact sections of, ah, there, we will turn the page back. Ah, so from a la hornpipe from water music, it is ternary form, which is A, B, A, and you can play a game with it. But then I also give you a listening guide, as it says down here, and that is what you find here with exact times of the recording and what you might be listening for at that point. So these are all the listening pieces with information about them and then an actual link in the PDF of this, but also you will get the video recordings in the Teachable platform where you'll find all of these works. So the Composer Detective is on the Teachable platform, which is an online, easy to use course uh, platform. And here you can see all the different kinds of uh, pieces. I wrote so many pieces. This is just a sampling of some. All right, so now let's look at some of the worksheets that come with this. So I can turn back. So, there is a biography video about me, George Friedrich Handel, and I give you notes to take. Older students will enjoy the note taking. This would be good for the high school students and older middle school students, perhaps, to take the notes. Maybe younger students will try to follow along as well. But there's the video that gives all the biography information about me. And then a short biography here. And I am a composer of the Baroque era. So I give you a sheet about that. These are just, you know, things you can read. The Baroque orchestra, I go into that. There are videos about some of these things. We have a focus on the harpsichord because it is an important Baroque instrument and I played it. And we have a focus on the oboe again a, an important Baroque instrument, which I played. And then we have the game cards for the ternary form game. And here are the answer keys. I am not showing you the student activity pack today because I am showing you the teacher notes, which will show you basically what is also in the student activity pack. You can see the kind of activities they have, and I give you, the teacher, the answers. So we have word searches, and they are at different levels for grade kindergarten to three or grades four through eight. Probably the high school students don't want to do the word search, but they could choose to. So we also have a biography crossword. So if you have watched the biography of me, George Friedrich Handel, you will be able to easily answer the crossword. And we have a test, which would be appropriate for the older students as well. And that is the teacher notes for George Friedrich Handel. So if you have questions about these things that are provided in the teacher notes or student activity packs, please do ask questions in the comments and I will get back to you about it. But please buy the Composer Detective 
or investigating George Friedrich Handel so that you can learn to appreciate all kinds of classical music. And Danke, thank you for listening today, and I hope to see you inside of the course soon. <laughs>